Hi guys, welcome to Making It Metal. I'm Steve James, and today I'm going to show you how I made this bandsaw a lot safer. So I was given this bandsaw some time ago, but I've never really used it because, as you can see, it's missing the guard. But today, I decided to put that right. I did this by making a template for the top half of the guard with a sheet of paper. As you can see, I pressed firmly on the sheet to transfer the pattern onto the paper. Making sure I also transferred the hold positions for the screws that will hold the guard in place. Using a straight edge and a pencil, I then made it easier to see where I needed to cut, and I also remarked the hold positions. Then I carefully cut out the template. I then held the template up to the bandsaw to make sure it was a good fit. I punctured through the holes with a pencil to make sure I had the right position and then I marked up and trimmed back where it looked a little bit too big. I then repeated these steps to make a template for the lower part of the guard. Once I was happy with the two templates that I'd made, I selected some material from my offcut pile. For this I used 1.5 stainless steel. I then used a sharpie pen to transfer the templates onto the sheet of steel. and cut this out with the cutting disc on the angle grinder. I used a sanding disc on the angle grinder to deburr the parts I'd just cut. And then I used a centre punch to mark out for the holes that needed to be drilled. I used a 3.5mm drill bit for a pilot hole. And then I opened the hole up to 6.5mm to take the M5 screws. When I came to look for screws, I could actually only find M5 bolts, so I used a neat little trick that I was shown where you can use a cutting disc to put a slot in the head of a normal bolt to make it into a screw head. So this worked out fine. I then secured the two panels at the top and the bottom of the bandsaw.
and then I used a steel ruler and a tape measure to measure up for the central part of the guard. I then transferred these sizes onto a piece of sheet metal and cut this out with the cutting disc. I also score a bend line with the angle grinder so I can fold the part rather than weld the two parts together. To bend this part, I position it on the edge of the bench and clamp it down with a piece of flat bar to hold it in position. Then using a hard mallet, I gently bend the part to approximately 90 degrees. To get this part to fit, I have to slightly notch the two internal edges. This is what you can see me doing here with the angle grinder. Once I'm happy with the fit up of this part, I then tape it in position with some masking tape. By using masking tape to hold this part, I now have both hands free to weld it, making it much easier. I then tack weld each corner where the parts join. Next I remove the guard from the bandsaw so then I can make sure that the joints are nice and flat before I weld it out. To do this I use a heavy block and a planching hammer. You'll notice I'm only doing small amounts of weld then I move to another position. This reduces the amount of heat that builds up in the part and reduces the distortion. I then sand back the welds and use the block again to planish from the back giving the front of the guard a nice flat finish. And now the bandsaw is ready to be used. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope that the techniques I've used will help you out. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.